Good morning, it's Friday the 8th of December 2017 and I'm pleased to bring you the local news of today. Water company SVM continue to supply Brocopondo with water. Police ranks disgruntled about work schedule. Agreements signed between Amazon Conservation Team Suriname and the Center of Agricultural Science Research and Union of Ferry Operators sound the alarm. I am Michal Ricketts and your local news starts right after this. The water company SVM continues with the opening up of Brocopondo. Yesterday, the water station in Klaas Creek was deployed by the SVM. This happened festively in gratitude from the local community. There were songs of joy for the fact that this area now has drinking water optimally. The SVM director was officially brought in to open the water station. About the situation, to live without drinking water, many in this area can write stories. Furthermore, the community itself indicates that they'll make this situation sustainable. They are willing to pay for the consumption of water and also have proposals for the preservation of this water station. Class Creek and surrounding villages together have about 6,000 residents. Together with NV Grasalco and Rosabel Gold Mines, the SVM now has two pumps placed to guarantee good drinking water supply in this part of Brocopondo. Yesterday, disgruntled police ranks barricaded parts of the Duisburg Laan. An unbearable working schedule has been the cause. This schedule came into force on December the 1st. The Surinamese Police Association, SPB, has stood up for its members. A work schedule where members have to work until 3 in the morning and to register again at 9 o'clock in the morning is not good. It is very frustrating, so says Rifolino Eik, spokesperson for the SPB. The policy support team and parts of the management team have recognized that the new work schedule is not workable, which is why it has also been rolled back. This has been made known to the SPB by the management of the force. Developing scientific protocols to promote sustainable forest management was deployed yesterday. With the signing of a cooperation agreement between the Amazon Conservation Team Suriname, ACTS, and the Center of Agricultural Science Research, CELOS, Soil research and chemical analysis will be done. So says Mina Parahu, director of the conservation team Suriname. This collaboration offers CELOS the possibility of conducting further scientific research on the soil condition in the salt of Suriname. The Union of Ferry Operators Organization in Kamawena has again sounded the alarm. The entrepreneurs in this sector have until now not received any subsidy for this year. The organization represents 67 members and maintains five routes. In the last few months, it was difficult for the boat owners to be of service to the community without payment. The chairman of the organization, Michel Nathu, says that they have tried on several occasions to get clarity from the ministry about the disbursement of the funds. Nathu further reports that the failure to pay the subsidy is putting a heavy pressure on the spending post of the boat owners. They want to fulfill their duty, but the government should not forsake theirs, so says the chairman. And with this, we've come to the end of the local news of today. Be sure to have a pleasant weekend and have a wonderful day. Furthermore. <laughs>